Gentleman from Ohio, reserves. Gentleman from New York's recognized. Contrary to Mr. Roy, this bill takes away nobody's weapons because existing weapons are grandfathered in, if you'd only read the bill. Mr. Speaker, I now yield one minute to the distinguished gentlelady from Texas, a member of the Judiciary Committee, Ms. Escobar. Ms. Escobar is recognized for one minute. Mr. Speaker, I rise today in strong support of the assault weapons ban, which will save lives. Mr. Speaker, El Paso is coming up on a terrible anniversary. On August 3rd, 2019, my district was the site of the deadliest targeted attack on Latinos in modern history. Three years later, my constituents are still recovering from their injuries. And because Republicans have decided that unfettered access to assault weapons is worth the routine slaughter of Americans, the domestic terrorist who attacked my community was able to do so with a legally purchased assault weapon. What was once an unthinkable tragedy, the mass carnage we saw in El Paso, is now commonplace across America. Americans are fed up, and so am I. Republicans have done nothing meaningful and hide behind thoughts and prayers, a phrase so empty and devoid of action that Congress is routinely and deservedly mocked for it. So today, I'm proud to act, and I'm proud to vote on the assault weapon ban. For El Paso, for Uvalde, for countless communities, I urge my colleagues to do the same. Thank you. I yield back. Gentlelady yields back.